Okay guys, welcome back to Vita's Bar Home and Garden. And today I'm going to show you a quick and easy brownie recipe um, that I like to make here. Um, I'm going to add about one, two cups of chocolate chips to some ghee. And I probably have about a cup of ghee I'm also going to add in some one can of coconut cream. I really like this coconut cream. Um, you could add in your own cup of cream if you wanted to to this mix. It would work out pretty much the same. Or just add one extra cup of butter. Then to this, we are going to add another cup of cacao. I like the mixture of the two. And to this, you want to add about one cup of sugar. You can use white sugar. This is monk fruit sugar. I'm also going to add in some of my vanilla coconut sugar because I like the way that this makes everything taste good. So basically you want to take your spoon and just mix everything up as best you can. And go ahead and stick it in the refrigerator. I mean, the microwave. We're gonna get our eggs together. baking powder ready to go to don't forget to grease your pan real good This is two minutes, and that's perfect. And you can mix your chocolate chips all the way up, or you can melt them all the way if you want to. That's up to you. I think I'm going to have a little chocolate chip surprise in there. Let's put this down. Let's taste it. 
it is good and it's cold guys it's pretty cold it's not real hot so it's not going to cause any problems with my eggs what you winding for And to this, we're going to add some baking soda, baking powder, sorry. Today we're going to use the non, or the blanched, two, three, possibly four. There we go. Now it starts to look like a a batter. Hmm. Look this up. All right, guys, we're going to put this down in the oven for about uh, 45 minutes, um, 30 to 45 minutes at 350. Um, then you want to poke a skewer right through the center of this just to make sure that it comes out clean before you start cutting into it and or making sure that it is cooled off. Um, this one came out really, really good. I really loved it and enjoyed it. Um, so much I think you guys are going to enjoy this one too so I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing to the videos and I wanted to also say I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope you inspire to do something wonderful in your life no matter what it is inspire other people to do something wonderful in theirs no matter what it is
and I love all you guys' comments, of course, and I really appreciate all the comments. And please leave more comments down below and subscribe to the videos. I appreciate each and every one of you again. Um, have wonderful holidays and also um, keep up with the inspiring of other people. And this one is absolutely yummy and it's a non-dairy gluten-free option for making brownies. And you won't even know that it was something else, something different. And it's also sugar-free. Just to let you know, and it doesn't taste like sugar free. Have a wonderful day, guys. Wonderful week.